Hi everybody, uh, I'm Wim. I want to take you through the workplace demo we currently have. So what you see here is essentially the workplace hub. It's uh, the portal where people go to start their day. As you can see, we have different profiles here. Um, as you can imagine, people are working in different teams using different profiles. Every profile has a different set of team members, a different set of filters, and a different set of uh, boosting expressions. So based on the profile, uh, the dashboard is being created. And as you can see, we have uh, uh, a quick overview of what your team did lately. We have popular documents driven by the machine learning based on the profile. We have recent contributions, new people, whatever you want. People can change the page. They could change the layout of the page so that it's prop, uh, better suited for their situation. Um, and they can change the way uh, the interface looks like. For now, let's leave it as is. Um, people can also change the way the widgets are, are working. So they could, for example, only show content from their current team or not only show from the current user. They could apply the filters which are set inside the profile. So they could change the way the widgets are working. And all of this is stored inside our index so that you don't lose any settings. This is stored uh, everywhere. The profile itself defines essentially who is in your team. We could do an auto team selection based on uh, Active Directory, for example, based on managers. Um, we have an advanced mode where you see all the filters to apply and the keywords and the widgets are using all of these settings to apply within uh, uh, the widgets itself. So based on this, you can fine tune the profile for your own needs. The profile is stored in our index. So it's shared amongst your team members. So if you change something, your team members will get the benefit of that. The machine learning is all powered by uh, the profile. So as you can see here, um, the popular queries are changing, the popular documents are changing because I selected a different profile. So everybody working on the profile, everything they do is monitored by machine learning. And based on that, uh, uh, you can quickly um, uh, uh, get some benefits around that. You can also see that here on the left-hand side, we have more dedicated search interfaces. Uh, for example, the team activity, it's just a large um, uh, search interface to show you everything your team did. Uh, we have, of course, a new section where you can see what people are doing uh, according to the new section. Uh, we have a people search, so you can quickly search for everybody within the marketing department. Uh, and you can see that also here, machine learning kicks in. We have a leaderboard here. So everything related to uh, the current query or uh, if you remove the query, um, the dashboard is updated accordingly. And it's just a quick dashboard overview of uh, what people are doing. The top contributors is also used in uh, the gamification later on with the people badges, which I will explain uh, later on. Uh, the dashboard is a quick overview. Uh, well, you can uh, uh, look at your content here using our standard quick view. Uh, nothing new there. Um, here you already see some badges, uh, which I will explain later on. In this scenario, um, Adele needs to check out uh, one of her latest emails so she could quickly look at uh, what needs to be done for today and she sees that she needs to find out if the customer focused approach is inside the executive summary. So she starts typing again, this is powered by machine learning based on the Mark 8 profile. She starts looking for the data, the full search interface comes up. And again, this full search interface can also be changed by the end user to fit his needs or her needs. Um, and as you can see, they can choose what to display based on the current profile. And this is stored per profile in our index. So you could have a different setting for the Mark 8 profile here than for the marketing profile. 
In our case, we need to find out if the, the customer focused approach is inside the management overview. Well, this was boosted by machine learning, um, so we could quickly have a look. Um, well, is it inside the executive summary? Yes, it is. So that's all good. She might want to talk to somebody else, but you now all of a sudden see that we also show related documents here and related people. So instead of just showing a preview, we are showing a more 360 preview because we also try to find related documents with the same title. And again, I could focus on this. Um, you also see related people. So who worked on these topics? Well, you can see that Lee, and here you can see the badges, um, the leaderboard badges. Um, this is a popular author. So he probably did a lot with this topic. So I can click on his name and you see that a People360 is loaded. Instead of just showing uh, a People template, we are showing everything related to this person. So we know that he's a very big uh, editor on the IHR news. He uh, does a lot on the developer guide. He talks to a lot of people. You can see his organization chart. And again, the badges are also here. Um, you can see the documents he was working on, the email communication Adele had with this person, and uh, what his team did. So based on this, you can quickly gain uh, information of if this is the expert you were looking for. So uh, another uh, very popular thing in, uh, uh, in workplace scenarios is self-service. Right, everybody has an IT help desk or an HR help desk, and people need to need to find their own answers. Well, that's what we are trying to do here to incorporate that into the the the, the interface. And as you can see, as soon as I start selecting something, the content already changes. So based on this, I could look for, for example, relocation, and you can see that I already got a lot of results here. Um, um, even if I start for looking for expense. So without clicking on anything, the content constantly updates and I can quickly check if this was the result I was looking for. If not, I could create a case and the case will be, for example, sent to ServiceNow or to a Salesforce case management tool. Often used tools are also uh, uh, presented here. Um, so uh, you could uh, quickly uh, jump into the most used repositories your uh, your company is using. That's essentially it. Uh, thanks for your time.